Ape Rider is a new company to America. They've been making bikes in Turkey for years, and they've brought the technology over here and started selling them over here, marketing them under the Ape Rider brand. So they are an established company. They make a lot of their own stuff in their own factories, including the motor is custom made by them, and they've been using it for years. Their newest bike that's coming out very soon is the Bonobo. If you want 10% off any of these bikes, uh, use coupon code hoohoo on the website. There's a link in the description, but this is a motorcycle style bike. So if you want to be the cool kid, wait for this one to come out, which will be very, very soon. And the one that's available now is the Gibbon, which is a moped style e-bike with a dual seat on it. It's got um, mag wheels on it with disc brakes. It's got a fork with adjustability on it, adjustable damping. It's got seven speed Shimano shifter on it. It's got pretty standard uh, controller on it there that you can use to control your pedal assist modes. And it's got foot pegs built into it. It also comes with fenders built onto it as well and a dual seat. So you don't have to do anything different to get it ready to haul a passenger. They told me that they've designed the frame. You can see that bolt hole in there and also that hand hole that you can use to set up a surfboard rack. So it's designed so that you can bolt things onto it just kind of out of the box. It's got a super bright headlight on it. And uh, there's a look at the 750 watt motor in the back and the foot pegs that fold up and down. The seat is very comfortable and they put a lot of padding into it so that you and your passenger have plenty of room to sit and you will be comfortable. And if you are tall, like this guy, Gigantor, he is six foot eight. And you can see a tall guy fits on it, but it's also not too high off the ground for a shorter person to be able to reach the ground from the seat as well. And here's an acceleration test. It's, it's peppy off the line here. So it's set still to the highest legal mode. So this one is not unlocked as I test drove it. They didn't have it unlocked for us to ride out in the streets with the cars. But you can see it gets up to 30 kilometers, not miles, kilometers per hour pretty quick. And then it kind of sits there because I believe that's the cap, the legal cap on it. But if you were to unlock it, you could probably go faster. 750 watt motor with 48 volts. So you, if you've ridden one of those before, that's kind of what it's like. But I think it, it's a little quicker off the line than some other bikes that I've, I've ridden in the same power category. So it, it feels quick. And I can't tell you what the top speed is because I couldn't get there. So it's, that's a quick first impression. Check out Ape Rider if you're interested. It's definitely a good thing for taking your little kid to school or for your big kid to ride to school for themselves. Uh, safe, a functional comes out of the box with everything you need and, and not too fast to get you into trouble.